I killed it about six months old. Pork, bacon, ham, sausages. It's the appalling life of factory farm pigs. Hey everyone, so today I am here in Bath and we are doing the Viva Face Off Challenge which basically involves watching a five minute video about the British pig industry. So we've just started and we're going to be interviewing people uh, to see what they think about the video and their reactions. What kind of effect has it had on you? It's really shocking at how appalling pigs are treated and how young they are when they're treated in such a horrible way. It's weird, isn't it? It's a bit distressing. You don't realise like, how much space they've actually got. It's, it's not nice. It's horrible seeing the conditions, but having like their tails ripped off and being locked in those small crates for such a long time is horrific. Does it um, give you anything to think about as you walk away from watching that? Definitely, that's disgusting. It needs to be on Facebook, that, get that shared. Do you think that you'll take images of that film away with you today? I think it's impossible to forget any of those images whatsoever. That is disgusting, yeah, it's not nice. of pig farms are ones created um, in factory farms like this one. I didn't know they were farmed in that way to be honest. Uh, my concern in the past has been about abattoirs because they they put all the abattoirs, the little abattoirs together into big huge conglomerates and they don't have any corners yeah. and the corners mean that they see they see all the pigs or the or the cows or the sheep they see them ahead dying and they're absolutely terrified when they even if they just had a corner where they can't see what's going on is better than the way they do it but I hate to say this, we live in a world where we're creating a hell on, hell on earth for not just animals but for ourselves as well we don't live in a, a society that cares a toss about anything because the only thing that runs this society is greed and money and that's the way it is I try not to eat too much meat anyway. I think it's a pity that a lot of meat is, to me anyway, delicious because uh, if it, you know, if it tasted revolting, who's going to want, I mean that bacon joint was absolutely delicious after cutting it up and heating it up in the microwave oven, you know. After watching that video I certainly won't eat any more bacon, that's for sure. I eat pigs. Yeah, it's just a bit like depressing to watch and yeah. <laughs> that more people like buy not free range things just because it's cheaper. The crime for a uh, pig. Did you were you aware that ninety percent of the I don't know about this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? What do you think? Do you think that you will take images of that away with you? Uh, no. 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 You'll forget about it. Yeah, of course. Okay. Why is that? Because I don't. I like pork, and I don't want to know about this. I like pork, and I don't want to know about this. Well, I wouldn't like it if somebody came up to me with a bloody great knife and started cutting my throat. Are you aware 
about Aiken being a class one carcinogen as of last year. The WHO have declared that it cause, definitely causes cancer. I wasn't aware of that, no, no. The WHO are the same organisation yeah. which listed both cigarettes and asbestos to be class one carcinogens as well. Yes. And they've put it in the same category as cigarettes and asbestos. Yes. So effectively, eating bacon is the same as smoking and asbestos. Yes, well, I'm a very regular drinker myself. In fact, at one point a few years ago, I was banned from all the pubs in Bath. <laughs> but are you worried about your health? Uh, um, but I'm not a regular smoker, you see. I'm not a okay. regular smoker. I am worried about my health, yes. What kind of effect did it have on you? The, the uh, four pigs that they, they live without the, their parents. Yeah. Yeah. It will be really sad that you don't live with your parents yeah. when you're a kid. Yeah. What do you guys think about it? It's just a bit disturbing, really. Yeah. Because we don't get taken away by like that, so... Yeah. Do you guys eat um, pork or anything like that? Do you think that watching that film will make you rethink eating yeah. pork? Yeah. The worst bits are when you see the, the pigtails, I think. That really gets me. Like when I watched the first time, the pigtails was, uh, was pretty bad. Um, but I like the sounds as well. The sounds are just the bars and the, the, the snorting. It's just really horrific. Do you think that more people in the UK need to be made more aware of these kind of things? Yeah. I mean, it's just... Yeah, everyone should have the choice, right? They should know what the two options are and know what actually is happening. Because otherwise it's just deception and it's not, it's not fair. And I think more people would, if they knew about it, the more people would choose to go vegetarian or vegan. If I told you that 90% of British pork came from farms like that, what would you say? I think a lot of people have the idea that it's humane and you know, roaming free on fields when that's a really high statistic, really high, and that should be what most people know. People should know that and that that's the truth. finished for the day doing the Viva face-off challenge um, I think probably about 15 to 20 people watched the video which is quite amazing that um, these people have now had their eyes opened to where the um, well where the pork in the UK is produced um, yeah so Matt how do you think today went in terms of activism I think it's been a really productive day we've had mixed thoughts on it which was quite predicted from our previous experiences. Um, overall, I think, regardless if the message wasn't taken in, the message was still received. So, as we all say, an idea is, is more powerful than anything else. Can't kill an idea. How do you think today went, Aisha? Yeah, I think it went really well. Everybody we interviewed seems to have taken quite a lot away from it. So I think this kind of thing is so important. And if you're thinking about doing something similar to this, then honestly go for it. We've got quite a few videos um, actually of us doing various different kinds of activism. So just take your pick, whatever you feel like you should do uh, or that you want to do, then go for it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing people's reactions. If you like this kind of video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you've got any questions about what we did or to just let me know what you think about what we did today. And please subscribe for more videos and see you guys again soon. Bye!